What shall we talk about? What would you like to talk about? Huh? Death. Death. You don't want to talk about death? Aren't you too young to talk about death? Would you? <coughs> what? What were we talk about last time? Prejudice, insecurity. Oh yes. Have you got a lot of prejudices? Huh? You have, haven't you? Lots of them. Are they fun? Do you like them? <coughs> Do you know what prejudice does? Suppose I am prejudiced against whom? Whom would you like to, for me to have prejudices? Against whom? Don't you suggest some? Huh? Suppose I have prejudices against Rajesh. There he is. I, I caught his eye. Do you know what happens if I have prejudices against him? I won't understand him, will I? <clears throat> My prejudices come in the way in understanding Rajesh. The prejudice is falling? Huh? Prejudice is falling? You come over here. Come on. Prejudices for him? Against him. Either I have prejudices for... I like him and therefore I have prejudices in me, his favour or I don't like him, I have prejudice against him, right? Now, what happens if I have prejudices? You don't understand him. I don't understand him. I don't see what he says clearly. I don't want to understand him, right? So, it's like a dark glass. <coughs> you understand? If I have a dark glass in the window, I can't see the sun clearly, can I? No. So prejudices act that way. I have prejudice against him, they become a block. Right? So I don't understand him. Now, will you drop your prejudices if I drop mine? Take time over it. Will you, all of you, drop your prejudices and uh, try to understand somebody. If you have prejudices in my favour, you won't understand me, right? If I have against me, you won't understand me either, right? So will you drop your prejudices? Will you? <coughs> Then both of us have prejudice against each other. Then how do we know that? Suppose you don't have prejudice against each other. First, don't have prejudices and learn what happens. Right? Will you learn? Or too young you are? But it's difficult to drop opinions when you've formed them already. You can drop them, can't you? Oh. 
have your opinions against me? For me? Have you? So if we expect something out of you, do we have an opinion about you? No, no. If you expect me to give you uh, good marks hmm, because I like you, then that's a prejudice. Suppose I expect you to um, not make one hour boring. Hmm? Suppose I expect you not to make one hour boring. Is it a prejudice? I don't understand your last word. Like, um, suppose um, Slowly. I expect you mm-hmm. not to make one hour boring. Like Boring? I have one hour with you, a class, let's say. And I don't want it to be boring. I ah, expect you don't, you, not... uh-huh. you don't want to be boring, yes, so what? So is it a prejudice? Like I'm expecting it not to be boring. That's not a prejudice, old boy. Like when you prejudge, like... Yeah. Prejudge is not prejudice. It is our, no, it is almost a prejudice. If I prejudge you, right? I can't have any. I can't see you directly, can I? So isn't it a prejudice if I expect the class to be interesting? Enough? Be pardon? Isn't it a prejudice? You so come over here. <laughs> That's your punishment. Isn't it a prejudice if I, if I expect the class to be interesting and I find it isn't? I saw you the other day, didn't I, here? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. What were you saying? Isn't it a prejudice if I expect the class to be interesting and I find that it's boring? That's not prejudice. I want to teach you something, right? About the flowers. Look at all those flowers. Marvelous, indeed. I want to talk to you about it. Hmm? And you might find it boring. That's not prejudice. But then it's prejudging the class. No. I want to tell you, look at those beautiful flowers. How nice they look. And the green lawn, green hedge. I want to show you well. Hey. But I'm not expecting anything out of them. No, I'm I'm asking you to look. And you don't even look. That's not prejudice. I'm asking you, look at all those flowers and the green, different kinds of green, and the yellow flowers. And then I say, look at all the people all around you, all these boys and girls. Look at them carefully. All of them. Those boys who are sitting out there who won't talk. hmm? And all those people who are sitting here, watch them all. Is that a prejudice? Or you don't want to watch them, therefore you consider it a terrible ball. No, I don't know anything, so I... Just watch them. You don't know anything about those flowers, do you? No. No, but the, you see the beauty of it? You see the beauty of it all? The green, the varieties of flowers, colors. Does color mean anything to you? Well, it looks beautiful on no, trees no. and flowers. I said color, not the flower which is specially beautiful, just color. Now, who has got the brightest color here? That girl with the red jersey. Huh? Does color mean anything to you? It can mean so many things. No, I'm asking you about one thing, old girl. I'm asking you, sirs, up there, does all those colors in this valley and the rock on that hill, I don't know what you call that hill up there, and that rock early in the morning with the light, sunlight on it, does it mean anything to you? When you look at all this beauty around you, does it mean anything? Do you appreciate all this extraordinary valley? You feel happy. Huh? You feel happy to see it, so it's interesting and something to you, like, 
Whenever you see it in the morning, it's in the Come over here. There's plenty of room. <coughs> Sit up here. Sit. Yes, you. Come on, old girl. Don't be shy. There. That's good. Like. When you see them every morning, like you feel happy, uh, means you're seeing something nice early in the morning. Yeah. So it really means something to you, your yes. heart is But do you get used to it? Yeah, you get used to seeing yeah. things. Why do you get used to it? Because you see it every day. I know. So, but so then... just listen. If you get used to me and I get used to you, what happens? What? I don't listen to what you're talking about. And you don't listen to me what I'm talking about, will you? I don't get that. Huh? I don't get that. Like, you can always listen to someone. I may be, like, I may be going with one person every day and all that. But still, I may know that person. Means not know that person. Like, no, of course. But don't get used to anything. That, that, that way you keep alive. If you look at those flowers, look at them. Turn around and look at them. Carefully look at them. Look at Kabir sitting out there, and Mrs. Jayaka, and Radhika ji there, against the background. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And do you get used to it? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I see it every day. No. Beauty is not seeing something every day. Beauty is that later in the day will be totally different, won't it? Yeah. In the uh, mid-afternoon, it will be much more bright, right? Yeah. And towards the evening, it will have a <coughs> totally different colors, won't it? Yeah. Can you get used to it? I guess. You can't, can you? So don't get used to anything. You don't get used to your father, your mother, or to your teachers. But then we have a routine in school, then we get used to it. What's different in a routine every day? Your mind then becomes routine. Your mind then becomes go round and round, like well, a gramophone. Well, that doesn't mean that I think, I mean, I think along the same lines every day. But the routine, the things we do, we have, we get up at 5.30, we go for breakfast, we go for classes. That's a routine. That you, no, you wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Why do you call it routine? Because that's what happens every day. Just a minute. Time. Listen to what I'm talking about. Don't a quick an answer. Why do you call it routine? Because we do it every day. Why, do you do everything? every day and call it routine, or are you aware of what you are doing every day? <coughs> know what you are doing? Get up in the morning at 5.30, clean and all the rest of it. Do you, are you aware that you are doing it? Do you pay attention to what you are doing? Or is it all you do it casually and get on? Yes, no. I do it. Not always. Uh, not, I'm asking you, do you do this every day? Conscious, aware, know what you are doing. When you are cleaning your teeth, do you know you are cleaning your teeth? Do you watch very carefully? I don't. No. Why? Because... If you watch carefully, it never becomes routine. You understand what I'm saying? Are you still here? <laughs> Good. Do you watch carefully everything that you're doing every day? Why? If you watch, do everything every day, it gives you much more aware. You watch everything there. You watch all those tamarind trees with their fruit, and that rock over there. It's, a, it's an extraordinary thing to watch. 
It is. Huh? Will you do it? I do it. No. Every day, every minute, not just casual one day. Mm. All the time what? All the time watch people, watch what they say, how they dress, and all the rocks here, and the trees. You learn much more by watching. Will you do it? If you say to me you will do it, if you promise, you must keep your promise. Otherwise, don't promise, right? Right? Don't promise if you can't do it. Will you promise? Careful. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> So, when you don't watch carefully, everything you are doing, what you say, what you, how you dress, how you clean your teeth and so on, you, your mind becomes routine, mechanical. You understand? If your mind becomes watchful, then you, everything you are doing becomes much more fun. Some sort of a mechanism, even if you watch things. Huh? Isn't it some sort of a mechanism, even if you watch No, things? it depends how you watch. Nothing becomes mechanical if you know how to watch. How do you, you watch? Huh? How do you watch? I'm going to tell you. Will you do it first? I'll try. <laughs> Don't try. Do it. That's easy to say, it's not very easy. I know it's You're all, so you all want to be very comfortable, right? Easy. But I'll tell you how to watch. Not how to watch, what it means watching. I'll tell you what it means to watch. Will you follow it carefully? What? Won't it become a routine to watch? Of course not. But I haven't told you what it means to watch. <coughs> then you can call it routine or not. Right? Will you learn from what I am saying? Learn. Find out. Will you? Learn. I've asked you, look at those flowers. See the beauty of it, see the colour of it. Enjoy it, have fun with it. Don't hurt them. You know, I'll tell you, scientists, biologists have discovered that trees communicate with each other. <coughs> If one tree gets diseased, hmm, you understand? It tells the others, be careful. Guard yourself against me. You understand? They are much more intelligent than human beings, in some ways. Because when you are ill, you don't tell the others, I will keep away from me. Of course you do, sir. Huh? Of course you do. You do? I will be. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to watch. Will you learn? Yes, sir. Yes? Good. First you watch with your eyes, don't you? Look. Look at those almond Cameron trees, look at them, look at them. You see them? Yes. Ah, now wait, watch it. And you see the rocks behind there? Right? Yes. Now, how do you watch it? 
Are you, are you thinking while you are watching? Yes, sir. Huh? You have learned something, haven't you? That you are not thinking when you are watching. Right. Right? Then, do you watch with your eyes only? Or do you watch all together? Not only with your eyes, but the feel of it, the colour of it, the depth of the trees, the shadows, the little shadows. Do you see it? Do you see those dragonflies fly? Yes, sir. Huh? So you see everything when you're watching. Right? Agree? So, when you watch very carefully, that way I'm showing you, then you watch me or watch somebody else very carefully. What happens? You have a friend here, haven't you? Yes, sir. Watch him. Yes, sir. Now, who is your friend there? That boy? Yes, sir. Right. I thought, I thought it was your friend. You two sat together and smiled together, right? Yes. Now watch him, or watch somebody else. Carefully watch them, how they sit, how they look. They're smiling, what? so I can't ah? watch them. Ah? I can't watch them, so they're smiling. They're smiling? But then see them smiling. So that when you watch very carefully, you begin to see things you have never seen before. Right? If you watch that carefully, you saw all those dragonflies. You saw the shades deep down. There's a man going by the bicycle. Right? Do you see? Yes, sir. So when you watch, you begin to learn much more. Now, next step is, you not only watch with your eyes, hmm, but also listen to all the noise going on. Listen carefully. People coughing, people moving, never sitting still, Right? Watch and listen. Right? So watch, listen, and learn. So learning while you're watching. I, have, I, have, I haven't finished, old boy. <laughs> Find out what learning is. So now watch. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. When you watch, and when you listen, you are learning, not merely memorizing, you are learning, see all the things that are happening around you. Right? Are you doing it? Who is there? Look. You learn from books, don't you? You learn ma are you learning mathematics? Yes, sir. What else are you learning? learning so, um, history, you're His learning biology, you're learning chemistry, you're learning geography. God, so much already? This English, means. mathematics, geography, history, chemistry, biology, biology, physics. You must be a great man. <laughs> No, I'm joking, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> when you're learning, what is happening? You've got a book, the, your educator points out, teach, uh, informs you. You're memorizing, aren't you? Yes, sir. Memorizing, which is what? You are recording as they're recorded on a gramophone plate. 
right? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You have, you have a gramophone, haven't you, in your school? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you put on a plate and it repeats, 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 right? Right. Are you doing that? While learning, I mean, while studying, yes. You are memorizing, not learning. You are memorizing, right? Because at the end of the school, the end of the term, you're going to be examined. And you must answer quickly, so you memorize. Hmm? Now, memorizing is like a gramophone record. Repeating, 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 repeating. Right? Yes. Is that learning? But when you're, huh? when you're learning, I mean, when you're beginning to me memorize, you're, then you're learning. No, at the beginning. Afterwards, you repeat. Yes, afterwards it's not learning. Not learning. Ah, at last. You got it? Yes, sir. Not yeah. huh? Have you learnt it? Do you see something? That is, I don't know what language? German. I don't know German. I speak Italian, French, and a little bit of, a little bit of English, a little bit of French, a little bit of Italian. Now, if I want to learn German, I have to study it, haven't I? I have to look at the words, how they are pronounced, how the meaning of the word, and the ver irregular verbs, and so on, so on. All that I study, memorize, right? I, my, my, my brain records everything, all the German language, the words, the syntax, the irregular verb, it memorizes. That is, it records. The brain records, right? And then at the end of four months, three months, or whatever it is, you begin to learn, speak it German. Right? When you record like that all the time, it's like a gramophone which is recording. So it's just like memorizing, it's that's, not learning. That's, that's all I'm saying. Is memorizing is not learning. But by watching, you wait, learn. wait. First, see it. First, see memorizing is not learning. Until you finish, wait. <laughs> Kali, you are too quick. But do you see this fact yeah. that memorizing is not learning? Yes, sir. Memorizing is repetition, because you have to pass an exam, you have got to a job, right? So learning is not memorizing. So what is learning then? Sir, does it mean that each time you watch, you are learning? What? Each time you watch, you are learning something. She said that each time you watch, you're learning something. That's right. Right, right, you have said something true. Each time you watch, you're learning, because things change. You understand? If you're watching those trees in the early in the morning, they're quite a different light, haven't they? And later on in the day, it had a different light. There's a different movement, different shades, different color. You're learning. But I don't think it's the same thing with people. Huh? Each time you meet them, they always... Come out here. <laughs> I'm going to have all the class around here. <laughs> Give us some room. What? Sir, but when you see people, like you see them every day, so you... Don't get used to seeing people every day. Watch them. But there isn't anything new in them always. How do you know? Sir, I don't think so, sir. Every time they're the same always. Do you know? Your cells, the body cells are changing, changing. So people are changing. I'm not the same as you saw me yesterday. I may have moved, I may have changed, I might have do all kinds of things. I'm not 
I'm a living being. It's only dead things that don't change. And if you watch them, then we can find them. <coughs> That's right. If you watch them, you learn. Because then, as you watch those trees the first thing in the morning, they're different, right? Different color, different movement, different depth of light, right? Different shadows. It's just like that human beings are. So, but I see the change in trees and all, but I don't know why I don't see it in people. Because you are lazy. Because you don't want to look carefully at people. Right? Yes. So, watching, listening, and therefore learning, not memorizing. Is that clear? Huh? But doing. Do, now, in India especially, there are a lot of theories about God, about heaven, about. Uh, huh? Lot of it. Nothing to do with their daily life. Right? The daily life counts much more than your gods and theories and. Right? So, watch your life. When you promise something, always keep it. So don't promise without realizing that you must keep it. So you watch what you're saying. Huh? You watch what you're doing. Also. At the same time, when you, it's like when I watch a tamarind tree, I must have that realization in myself that I am also watching. Yes, that's right. You're watching yourself. I am watching those trees and I'm also watching myself. I'm watching what I'm saying, whether I tell the truth or lie. I'm watching my various annoyance, anger, jealousy, fear. I'm aware of all that. You understand? As I'm aware of those flowers, I'm aware also of myself. Right? It's much more fun watching yourself. Because you are changing, you are different. One morning you are depressed, next morning you are happy, third morning you are irritated. Right? Will you do all this? Or just say yes, yes, and just carry on? Huh? I've watched myself. Before. Will you do it? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Promise? Yes, sir, I'll do it. Huh? Yes, sir, I'll do it. I'll try. You to. promise? Careful. Yes, sir, I think I'll do it. Sir. Not you think you will do it. But do you promise to do it every day? That means you must keep it. Don't promise now. I'll try to do it. No, don't try. Either do it or don't do it. So what when you want to do it? Huh? But I want to do it. Then do it. So you're taking that, some You see, just listen. If you do that, you become extraordinarily alive. <coughs> extraordinary. You know, your brain becomes extra, so sensitive. So? Right? Yes, you're not sensitive. You've already, you're, you're very young, you're not sensitive. So, sometimes when I'm, sometimes when I'm thinking of something, I don't realize I'm thinking, I'm so caught up in that thinking. Yes. Whereas sometimes, suppose I'm watching a tree, I know that I'm watching a tree. Yes. I'm aware that I'm watching a tree. Yes. And I'm watching it at the same time. Whereas sometimes I'm thinking, I don't realize that I'm thinking. So yes. I'm not watching yeah, myself we, we, at that we time. realize that you're thinking. <coughs> what you're thinking. Why you think, what makes you think that way? Watch it. Don't watch everything that you're doing. So, but sometimes I'm so caught up in the thinking. It's you can't... Just listen carefully. <coughs> now, listen. We are talking to each other, aren't we? So, we are thinking to Right? And we may think silently and put it into words. 
Right? That's what we're doing now. You think and you put it into words. And you want to tell me something, so I'm very careful to convey what I want to say to you. So, but sometimes you don't think and then put it into words. The words come. Yes. Why is that? So doesn't that become mechanical again? That's just what I'm telling you. Don't become mechanical. Think. Then it is. Don't become mechanical. Sir? You've got glasses, right? Find out if you can do without glasses. Because... Don't say you can't. I can't see anything without glasses. Find out, old girl. I am supposed to be 90. I won't have glasses. Do you know why? Because you can do without them. What? You can do without them, so you don't have to. You are nuts. <laughs> so, but then she knows that she can't do without them. She's tried it out before. Yeah, that's why I got glasses. Right. Find out if you can see clearly without glasses. If you can't, then find out if you can do ex eye exercise. I'm doing. And then may improve it. But if you keep on saying, I must have glasses, I must have glasses. No, I don't do that. You do, but you are doing it. Say, I can't see without glasses. That's because it's a fact, but I am doing exercises to see without glasses. So, remove your glasses and make an effort. So, one question, sir. Huh? Right now, you asked us to uh, start learning and stop memorizing. Memorizing, as I explained to your board, <coughs> listen carefully. Memorizing becomes mechanical. Right? Yes, sir. The brain that is inside the skull is always recording. Yes, sir. I say that's yellow, that's green. Yes, sir. Right? Those are trout. It's recording. Right? Yes, sir. That recording becomes mechanical. Yes, sir. And then being mechanical, you, your whole life becomes mechanical. Yes, sir. So, but isn't that the fact that that's Wait, you know? darling, wait, I'm finished with this chap. You jump on me before I finish. <laughs> right? Now ask my, your question afterwards. Remember yes, your question. You understand? If I, all the time recording, hmm? green, white, purple, yellow, oh, he's my friend, he's not my friend, I am, right? It's like a gramophone. Yes, sir. Right? So, so memorizing is not learning. Learning is all the time something new. So, but you can't have that. <coughs> huh? Like when you're studying something. I, you have to learn that. You have to study it. You have to look, memorize look. it. You have to memorize it. Now, wait, 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 wait. I am your teacher. Hmm. Uh, I want to teach you your history. Right? Hmm. I want to teach you history. Hmm. You must know all the kings and all the rest of all that silly rot. Right? Yes, sir. It is silly rot. No, I must know, you must know who was the king of India in the 15th century and so on, so on, right? But why do you call it silly rot? Yeah, it's silly. In what? <laughs> at the end of it, doesn't affect your life at all. Does but it? if you're taking up history for your huh? life, like you, you want to become something like, um, like you want to do that's it. a course in history. Uh, that's it. You, learn, you memorize in order to become a professor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You memorize in order to get more money. To get more? Money, better job. Not necessarily. Ah, yes, sir. If you don't have good memory, you won't have a good job. Have you watched the carpenters? Those people who build beautiful furniture? 
I have. They must know the quality of the wood, right? The quality of the, the grain and so on, and the instrument they use. They are very careful. Hmm? So they memorize. They become an apprentice first from a, another carpenter. They learn by that way, memorize. And then they become good carpenters, right? I, I want to teach you history. Just listen quietly. Will you? Will you listen? Or you're off somewhere else? No, sir. Oh, I'm listening. Huh? Listening. Good. I want to teach you history. History means story. Right? It's a story of all the past kings and past queens, or the wars, and etc. etc. Right? Right? Right. 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 And also, story also means story about yourself. Yes, sir. Right? Story about what is happening in the world, and story also about yourself. You are much more interesting story than the story of all the kings. I agree, sir. Agree? Bravo. Yes, sir. Right, sir. So, I'll, I'm going to talk about not only the history according to the books, but also I'm going to talk to you about the story of about yourself. But that's not what we do in class. I know they don't. I said, if I was your teacher, I would do that way. You understand? Yes, sir. I would combine both the book and also about yourself. So, but that's a far possibility, sir. Huh? No, it's sir, a they, very far possibility of you, what, you what? ever being a teacher. Slowly, slowly. What? So you, you couldn't ever be a teacher. <laughs> Why not? I mean, of a subject as such. I, I said I would combine both. I would combine the book, right? And also I would combine about history about oneself. The history about oneself is the history of all mankind. Right? So the history of all mankind is the history of oneself? What? Which is yourself. So if you study the whole of mankind, you're studying ourselves. That's right. So then we are start studying the whole of mankind. <laughs> You're not listening to what I'm saying, old boy. I'm saying you, telling you, if I was a teacher of history, the meaning of history from Latin storia. Storia means story, history. In Italian, it's called storia, comes from Latin, so on. Now, I'm going to talk about what? Who is your king in the 15th century? Who was your king in the 15th century? There are so many kings, sir. So many of them. <laughs> Quite right. Give me one of their names. Uh, Come on, uh, somebody there. Akbar or Shah Jahan. They were there in the huh? 16th century. It was Babur. Yeah, Babur. Babur was there. Babur? No. Babur. B A B U R, sir. I know. I thought you said a Babur. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, that's a joke. A punch, Right? So, I would teach you, I would say, Baba was the father of Humayun, right? Yes. And Humayun's son was Akbar, right? So I would go into all that, right? And also I say, what about you? You're also a story. You're a great story. Much greater than Akbar. Right? Yes, sir. So I will talk to you about yourself. I say, what are you? Learn. You, you have a book about yourself inside you. Learn to read that book. You understand? Yes, sir. Are you sure you understand what I'm saying? Don't say yes, sir. I am saying the book about Akbar. The many volumes have been written about Akbar. And there is a volume 
also about in yourself what you are. Huh? So you said that. You, are, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. There is a book inside you which you must learn to read. But you neglect to read that book. So I'm, I'm going to help, I'm going to see that you learn how to learn to read that book. Not only the book of Akbar, but the book of yourself. Book about yourself. So I'm going to go into that. I will teach you that way. That's the most marvelous way to learn. Not only what is happening in the world outside you, but the extraordinary book that you have inside you. The book that is, that is the rest of mankind. Not just Indian history. So then why doesn't it happen? Because your teachers don't do this. So, but you're president of the foundation, huh? right, sir? <laughs> what? Say it, sir. Good. <laughs> so you're president of the foundation. Why don't you do something? Well, I'm the president of the foundation, he says. Why don't I do something about it? Yes, you're sir. quite right, sir. <laughs> But they won't listen. So, but they could at least try. Wait, or... wait. They won't listen. So they're like us. Huh? They're like us. He's saying they are like us. What? They're He's saying like the us. teachers are like us. Quite right. <laughs> so probably they Quite don't right. Don't... Just listen carefully. <clears throat> the teachers are like you. Only much grown up, grown up. Right? I'm not insulting them. You understand? Yes, sir. I'm a most, I'm very polite, respect, I respect people. I don't insult them. They are like you. So learn from each other. You understand? I'm learning now from you. Why you say things and don't mean it? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Why you say yes, sir, yes, sir, and don't mean it at all? Yes, I do mean it. That means you live it. My yes meant that I understand it. First understand, but live it. Right? So you don't have that kind of a Don't say anything. Yes. Listen, old boy. Don't say anything in your life if you don't live it. Then, you, if you don't live it, you become a hypocrite. Right? Say one thing and do something else. That's hypocrisy. Right? Sir, but I, I'm not saying anything. I'm saying I understand what you're saying. I, I said to you, understand what I'm saying. I said, don't say anything that you don't mean. If you mean, say something and if he's right, be honest. If you say, I lie, say, I lied, sir. That's honesty. Right? If you are angry, yes, I'm angry. Don't pretend. Grown up, do. That's the only difference. So, but when everyone else is. Huh? When everyone else is different. What? Everyone, everyone is different, right? Yes, sir. That's no one can be the same. Yes. So if I'm, I mean, I tell everyone honestly, like, I'm angry, I'm the same. Everyone isn't going to say that they are angry also. What? Like, suppose I'm having a fight with someone. Why do you have a fight with someone? Because you may not... Hey, 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 Why do you have a fight with someone? So we come to a disagreement about something. Why do you have disagreement? Learn, learn. Don't say I have disagreement. Fight him. Learn. If you fight now, when you grow up also, you will fight. That becomes violence. You know, all over the world, violence is pretty. You know that, don't you? They are killing each other. Wars, terrorists, you know? You understand? 
They're killing each other. That's tremendous violence in the world. So don't be violent. Don't get angry. When you get angry, say, I'm angry, I apologize. Don't fight. <laughs> What? Supposing you don't fight with someone and still take advantage of your weakness and they instantly take the back to your friend. He said that if you don't fight, somebody can take advantage of your weakness and bash you up. Perhaps not. If I'm not, if I don't get angry with the man who wants to get angry, he might quiet down. Might. Might. I said might. I, but then it's a risk but to yourself. Right, wait, wait. Suppose, yeah, the person who's going to hit me. I, if I'm, because I'm not angry with him. If, I'm, if I don't react, you understand? You're angry with me. Right? Suppose you're angry with me. I won't react to you. I won't get angry. I won't hit you back. See what happens. So sometimes it might happen. Wait, it's not sometimes. Or... See what happens. If, I, if you get angry with me, and I don't get angry with you in return, you, there's something happens between us. Right? If you call me a fool, I don't react by calling you another fool. <laughs> right? I don't react. I keep quiet. So, my keeping quiet affects you. Not always, because people are not gentle enough. So you learn. My God! I want to talk about something totally different from all this. So I don't understand where all this is leading us. Huh? I don't understand where all this is leading us. You don't understand. Listen, listen, she's asked a question. She said, she says, I don't know where you are leading us. I'm not leading you anywhere. So what, what are we talking about? Though? What I'm talking about is learn to watch, which is one of the most difficult things to do. Learn to listen. And learn to find out the way of living. Not just repeat, repeat. Right? That's what I'm saying this morning. Don't become mechanical. Sir, you said you want to talk about something different. Yes, sir. So once or twice, why don't you start the topic, sir? Huh? Yes, sir, why, why don't you start the, why don't you start talking about something because sir uh, i want to find out what you are wanted first right i want to find out it's more polite isn't it to find out to find out what you want to talk about so, but then we want to well, find out what you want to talk about now <laughs> quite right now i can talk to you about it right yes sir yes sir First, I ask you, right? Before I serve you tea first, not myself. Yes, sir. In the same way, I ask you first what you would like to talk about. And you jump. <laughs> Say all kinds of things. After you are finished, if there is time, I talk about what I want to talk about, right? Thank you, sir. So, so I want to talk about huh? what you, you want wanted to talk about. What I want to talk about this morning if I remember rightly, was, are you sensitive? To what? Sensitive. No. Okay. You see? Immediate answer is to what? I'm not talking about to what, but in yourself, are you sensitive? You know what it means to be sensitive? To feel. To feel? Alert. Alert? Understand. No. I, you are sensitive to those flowers, aren't you? Are you sensitive to people? People? <laughs> All around these boys and girls, or, or grown-up people, are you 
sensitive to see what they are feeling, or what, how they look, what they do. Sensitive. So only to people who are around me most of the time? Yes. You, not even that. Not all the time. Only. No. So are you sensitive? You say, occasionally I am sensitive. That's not good enough. It's like having a bad potato. So I was going to talk about sensitivity. Then I was going to talk about what is your relationship – you understand the word? – what is your relationship to what is happening in the world? You understand what I'm asking? Your relationship. You are related to your father and mother, right? Are you related in some way to the rest of the world? To what is happening in the world? Yes, yes I'm Now, wait, wait, listen to me. 2,500 people were killed in Bhopal, and hundreds of thousands of people hurt. What do you feel about that? I feel sad. You feel sad. Then what? You, you feel that carelessness takes place everywhere. Huh? Like, just due to a small leak, like a, just a sheer carelessness. So, that, like, are you – listen carefully what I'm asking you – are you sensitive to other people's suffering? No, sir. Huh? Sir, we don't – Wait, I am asking you a question. So I don't think I'm – Are you sensitive? To other people's suffering. So quite often I'm the one who inflicts the suffering. If you you're being very, very clever old boy. I'm asking you a question, you're also asking something else. I'm asking you, I'm as clever as you are. <laughs> I'm asking you, are you sensitive to other people's suffering? Strangers. So not as much huh? as I was. You are not. No. That's. You are not. Why? <clears throat> so we you know. You wait. There's a yesterday, day before yesterday. I was walking down there. There were two girls, blue with white stripe, students, I believe. They walked six miles from Tetu to what is the place? Kurban. Six miles that way, six miles that way, twelve miles a day. Are you sensitive to how they feel about walking all day and all? Huh? No, sir, because it doesn't affect me. Huh? It doesn't affect my life. Quite right. So you are not sensitive to others. You're more yeah. selfish. You're only you are selfish. So quite often you Maybe. are sensitive. Huh? So quite often you are sensitive. You feel sorry for a person, like I, when people die in Bhopal. I say to you, uh, look, don't be clever with me. Are you aware of those boys and girls walking 12 miles a day, not having enough food, right? They are suffering, right? How, how do you feel about all that? Do you don't care? We do care. Then what do you do? If you can, you do something. What can I do, sir? You can't do very much, but you can tell Mrs. Thomas and Mrs. Uh, Radhika ji, say, look, let's find out how we can help them. Let's find out a bus for them, right, so that they can go there, come back. You work for it, you do something, you don't say yes. Right? Right? What? Will you do it? No. I'm out. Will you go to Mrs. Thomas and Radhika ji and say, please, sirs or ladies, will you, we must do something about it? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Hey, will you? Or you don't care? I do care, sir. Then go to them. As I'm going to them, I want to file, I want to have a bus for those children. 
I would pick them up and drive them to Kurabal Kota, or have a school for them all here, out there. Not just out there. <laughs> I'm working, I'm going to talk, I'm going to raise trouble. They don't do it. So you can say about Vietnam. You do it, you help me to do it. Will you? If you tell me how to help, huh? I will. Uh, no, I won't tell you. You won't do it. That's where your independence is. So I want to talk to you about sensitivity. I want to talk to you about your relationship to the world. You are going up, you are going to leave this lovely place, Rishi Valley, and go to college, university, get married, children, and jobs, and quarrels, and misery, and all that which your life is going to be. And what's your relationship to the rest of the world? To violence, to politics, to this tremendous corruption in this country, right? Over public. Huh? Then you would become so selfish if you have all that, like... like you don't get self, you're concerned. You are concerned with this tremendous corruption. So what can we do about it? Don't be corrupt. Yeah, but how... I mean, it? wait, you have to listen, girl, you know, you're too quick. Don't you be corrupt. Fight for it. Stand for something that you think is wrong. And if someone disagrees, fight it. No one listens. No, fight. I meant fight in the sense, you don't get corrupted. So I don't get corrupted. It doesn't don't... matter. Leave the others. Don't you get corrupted. I do. Huh? I do. When you grow up, you can. Now you can say yes, I won't care. When you grow up, you go into business. So it won't be of any use if only one person is not corrupted. All right. It won't be of any use if only one person is corrupted. You begin with yourself first. Okay, so you're not corrupt. I'm just giving an example, and you go for a you go for a job, and there's a the managing director in, interviewing you, and he'll directly ask you for a bribe, or you don't get the job. Don't get a job. So what should you? Why don't you stand for something? So, but without a job, I cannot live. Huh? Without a job, I cannot live. Don't live. <laughs> then, what is the purpose of coming into the world? Find out. You see, you don't, you're all so weak, you give in. So? Suppose you say, no, sorry, I won't be corrupt. And you collect people around you. You work for it. So, but there are, if there are only five people around me. That's good enough. Begin. Suppose, suppose there is a person who isn't corrupt, but then, the, like, he is insensitive and everybody around him is insensitive. How will they know that what he's trying to do? How will they know what he's trying to do? I tell them. I'm doing this. So, but I, listen to me. I am going around the world saying, religion says they are a rubbish. Right? They don't like it. I don't mind. If they say to me, you can't come into this country, I don't mind. I can always come back to Rishi Valley if, if they will allow me. <laughs> I don't mind. But you people mind, but you're also frightened. So, but we don't have anything else to do, right? So, you go for a job and you huh? don't get it, then you don't have anything else to do. If you don't get a job, huh? Yeah, suppose yeah, you don't want to be corrupt. Yes. And you don't want to accept the bribe. Yes. So then you don't get the job. Please. Then what can you do after that? Become a gardener. What's wrong becoming a gardener? What's wrong be being poor? <coughs> Educatedly poor. What's wrong? But how do you live, sir? What? How do you live? 
How do you How do you use this? What do you do with this education? Huh? What do you use with this education? You know, I don't, I can't understand so many people. What is it? What's the use of this education? What is the use of this education? Probably none at all. So being literate, you can't go for gardening, sir. Huh? Being literate, you can't go for gardening, can you? Being literate. literate. What? Literate. What? Literate. literate. Then you do something literate. You people never, you're all so... I won't use certain words. <laughs> you're all so mediocre. That's what I'm objecting to. What does that mean? Mediocre means, in English language, mediocre means going up the hill halfway, never going to the top of it. Oh. You understand that? <clears throat> Don't become a mediocre. So, but why have we given such positions, sir? Huh? Why have we given such positions to people? Like, say, for the gardener, we say that he is something different from us. And none of us want to become gardeners because we think he'll be something. Because I don't mind being a gardener. I don't care what people think, whether I'm a minister or somebody. I don't care. I do what I think is right. So if we all do what we think is right... No, that's very difficult to find out what, you th what is right. Not what you think is right, what is right. That's very difficult. Right? I think this is right, which might be wrong. Then when everyone around us tells us that you must do this because this is right... That, then... That's just tradition, that's the authority. I want to find out what is right. Don't you? How will you find out? So won't that be an opinion? Because right for one person can be wrong for another. I said to you, old boy, you didn't listen. What you? You didn't listen. Everybody thinks he's right in his own way, right? You, have, you think this is right, another thing that's right or wrong. But I want to find out what is right, listen carefully, under all circumstances, right? Under all pressures, right? Under all what public says, I want to find out what is right. Don't you? And it's difficult to find out what is right. To find out what is right, you cannot have opinions, judgments, convictions. Right? That's true. So, if you perceive what is right when there is freedom. Only when you have complete freedom. Huh? Only when you have complete, complete freedom. That's right. When you have complete freedom, then you see what is right. So, but how do you gain freedom, sir? Huh? How do you gain freedom? How do you g gain freedom? You don't gain freedom. Freedom exists, comes, if you are not attached, if you are not self-interest, you understand? If you are not selfish, then you are free. Then there is freedom, and then what you see then is right. So, but I cannot live alone in the world, sir. I don't mind living alone in the world. No, sir. You mind it, you are frightened. So, how do you get rid of selfishness, sir? How do you get rid of selfishness? Tell, tell you a very simple way. Don't be selfish. That's the same thing. Now just listen, girl. Don't be selfish. You know what selfishness is. Don't be. Don't say, I'm going to get rid of it. Don't be selfish. Therefore, learn what it means to be selfish. Watch. Everything leads to watching. Yes, sir. Watching. You learn an infinite lot watching. I learn a great deal by watching. <coughs> watching you walking down the road, how you walk. How you talk. 
what you say, whether you say exactly what you mean or trying to <coughs> double cross. You follow? Double talk. So I learn, I watch. That's one of the things. First, I wanted to find out if you are sensitive. Then, what is your relationship with the world? Then, are you different from the world? The world is violent, or are you violent? The world is corrupt, or are you corrupt? The world is violent, or are you violent? Right? The world is saying, I'm British, I'm French, I'm an Indian, I'm Russian, I'm a Muslim. Right? Therefore, there is conflict among them. So I won't be any of them. So but then the world Do that. Huh? The world is also saying, I'm Ajit. What? I, I'm Ajit. I'm, uh, I'm Karthik. I'm Gautam. I'm... But you are, of course, you're Gautam. You're a different name. That's natural. But don't be nationalistic. That's what is the same thing, sir. When I say my name is this, and I say that this is my country, isn't it the same? Same, quite right. That's selfish. You identify yourself with something greater, but selfishness still remains. So now, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's now quarter two. Nearly. Right? We have talked an hour and a quarter. They're all getting restless. So, let's stop. Will you sit quietly now for five minutes? Absolutely quiet. Don't move. Take a comfortable position, then sit very quietly, really quietly. Don't cough. Close your eyes and see what what you are thinking. All right, sir. Thank you for listening to me. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're Gautam, are you? What's your name? Ajit. 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 